So here is my modeling tool. Um, and you can see that over here on the right hand side are some of those components of our ecosystem. And I can continue to scroll down and see some more, as well as some processes and movement uh, to show how these different components are going to interact with each other. And if I look at the main blank part of my model, I can very, very faintly, <clears throat> excuse me, see that it says abionic and bionic to kind of mimic what we saw in the sim with our abionic components of our ecosystem as well as the biotic. So if I click over here on my directions, remember that my goal here is to show where the energy storage molecules in an ecosystem come from. And it's telling me some things that I should do. So I should drag some items from our components part over here on the right and add in some of those interactions with their movement and their processes. And then down below this tip is telling me that I don't need to use all of the items. I only need to use the items that will help me meet my goal. If you have access to Amplify Online and you are making this uh, modeling tool in front of you, like you see on mine, go ahead and pause the video. And if you're working on paper, again, pause the video to give yourself a chance to record your ideas before I share mine. Okay, so let's check our work. As I look over here in the ecosystem, I see a producer here. And so I'm gonna click on a producer and I'm gonna drag a producer over into my model because I know that a producer is what is going to create the energy storage molecules in an ecosystem. And my goal here is to show where these things come from. So I know that a producer is going to do that. So I'm gonna also drag over my actual energy storage molecules to show that a producer is the one um, creating these and is the source of where these come from in my ecosystem. Okay, I also know that the process of a producer uh, making these energy storage molecules is called photosynthesis. So I'm gonna continue to scroll and I might need to move my camera out of the way, there we go. I, I'm gonna use this process editor because photosynthesis is a process. So I'm gonna move that over. And when I do that, I have this little edit button, that little pencil thing pop up. And here's my photosynthesis option. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over because that is um, the process that we're talking about that's going to create our energy storage molecules here as an output. Okay, output means what does a process put out there into the world, okay? And in order for photosynthesis to create energy storage molecules, I also know that I need energy from the sun, so I'm gonna drag that over. And then I also need carbon dioxide from the air, so I will drag that over. And I also know that I need water for this process, However, I don't have that as an option here, so I'm just gonna leave it as. If you were drawing your model on paper and you included water as an input, awesome, keep it there. So I'm gonna press close. And there we see my process, my inputs, my outputs for these energy storage molecules in a producer. I also know that within my ecosystem, that this doesn't all just like magically happen within the cells or the chloroplasts of my producer on its own, that these things come from the outside environment. So I'm gonna represent that in my model as well. And I recall over here on the right seeing, there it is, sunlight as one of the model components. So I'm gonna drag that over because that's where that energy comes from. So I'm gonna show that interaction here with an arrow. And if you're working from paper uh, along at home, again, make sure that you have these arrows shown in and that you don't have like maybe nice color coding like I have here in my modeling tool. So make sure you're including a label for what that arrow is representing to help our Econauts really understand what this model is showing. So I've accounted for one of my inputs, the sunlight. 
I need to account for the other, the carbon dioxide, where that's coming from. And there's my air. I know that our carbon dioxide can live in our air, so I'm gonna show that. And then here's my carbon dioxide molecule. And once again, I need to show how that is moving from the air into the cells of my producers. And I'm gonna do that with another arrow. We love using arrows in our models in science. Again, that helps us show movement, but it's not helpful if we don't know what that movement is. So once again, mine is colored differently and I have my key over here. Make sure if you're writing yours at home that you have a label on your arrow. So let's check our work. Our instructions were show where the energy storage molecules in an ecosystem come from. And I needed to drag items as my components. I needed to show how things, those components were moving and processes uh, for how these components are interacting with each other within our model. So did I do that? I have my producer, that's where this happens. I have my energy storage molecules. That's what I'm trying to show uh, where they come from. They come from a producer. And they come from a producer in this process of photosynthesis. To make photosynthesis happen and produce those energy storage molecules, I need sunlight and the energy that it contains, as well as some carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. How did you do on your model? Pause the video and go ahead and share your thinking with someone near you.